Hey, how are you doing today? Bob Vokes here for the Gilly Galoo House Things. Just thought we'd talk about the American Goldfinch today. It's a beauty little bird. Uh, here we are, 1st of September-ish, and uh, the fledglings are just coming to the feeders. Great little bird, great little thing. We can create some habitat around our yards and things for them. So let's take a look, see what it's all about. Take a look here. When you take a look at this, you don't consider habitat. You consider this just scrub and overgrowth. But this is prime, prime, prime nesting sites for American Goldfinch. There were song sparrows in here. Uh, lots of things happening here in this particular area. There's bull thistles, there's some native grasses, there's some weeds and stuff that have grown up that we, well, we call them weeds. But they're actually native plants. Uh, the, the American Goldfinch just love this. We have dozens of uh, Goldfinch here and we also have had about eight to ten fledglings at the feeders uh, over the last three or four days that have been fantastic to be able to see as you saw in the intro there. Habitat, you just never know what it's going to look like. The male American Goldfinch, don't you just love those guys? They're just such a beautiful bird. This is in their full plumage uh, and nesting plumage or breeding plumage, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're nesting right now. We're having a great time with fledglings coming to our feeders. So I thought we'd talk a little bit today about goldfinches and the fact that they're just nesting now. And here we are, or the fledglings are just out. And here we are, 1st of September. Huh, why is that, eh? Well, they wait until all the grass seeds and, uh, and the thistles and the things uh, are all prepared and, and ripened so that they can get at those seeds. Um, and then that's what they feed their young. So there's a male non-breeding and there's the male in breeding plumage. Crazy. Let's see if we got a picture here of uh, a fledgling. That's a female. The male again. Yeah, I guess we just have the adults. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, female. So, um, just a short little video today. Just wanted to talk about the American Goldfinch, uh, how they wait for these seeds to be ripened up on all these different plant matters and stuff in the habitat that I showed you, because that's what they feed their young. So, if you think about uh, birds in spring, if you think about you know flycatchers or robins or any early nesters like that, they're feeding bugs and they so they nest in the spring. Goldfinch feed ripe seeds from the grasses and the plants that they're around to their young, so therefore they don't nest until they're ripe and into uh, August, into early September. So we'll just take a, a look at the goldfinch then and we'll kind of get down at their range map because this is an interesting thing too in that uh, a lot of their area, as you can see throughout North America here, that they're way down into Florida, uh, all across the western seaboard, over here in the top of uh, California and things over here. Um, and then the red area on there is their common breeding range. The purple uh, is their uh, all seasons or common area that they're in. So there's some distinction here and we've noticed it here in uh, in Eastern Ontario where we are over here that they have not been as prevalent uh, in the last throughout last winter and into uh, this spring and summer we haven't had as many birds. So you can see that quite possibly that whole section they moved down a little bit last winter to get into a better area or they even went down further to get into better weather uh, as opposed to the nasty winter that we had last year. Now we're, it was cold, it was windy, it was a winter winter really but at the same time that migrational pattern of, of birds that don't we often I say it before you know we often think of migration as leaving Ontario and going to South America uh, but migrational patterns of these uh, birds, such as the American Goldfinch or the Blue Jays or any of those birds that stay around year-round, can move up or down, up or down, up or down, east or west a little bit, cluster over this way a little further, dependent upon weather and food availability. So when you think about that, um, if we had a really hot, dry summer, the food availability in ripe seeds might be less 
And then if you go into a harsh winter, they're going to say, well, I'm getting out of this kitchen because I'm going someplace else. So that's real interesting stuff about the, the goldfinch. And, and it talks uh, some of the discussion uh, here about their feeding behaviors. And so uh, just here, I'll just read what it says here, just so that it kind of complements what we're talking about. They forage actively in weeds, shrubs, and trees, often climbing aerobatically on plants such as thistles to reach seeds, except during breeding season, usually foraging in flocks, common to come to feeders. We all understand that. So the diet, mostly seeds, some insects. Diet is primarily seeds, especially those of daisies, composite family, and and those also of weeds and grasses, and small seeds such as trees, elm, birch, alder, also eats bugs, bark of young twigs, maple sap, feeds on insects to limit their extent during the summer. So if we're thinking about creating some habitat for that, then we can we can kind of work on that. So the, their, their eggs, they have four to six, sometimes two to seven, pale bluish white, occasionally with light brown spots, incubated by the female for about 12 to 14 days, which is a very short period of time. Male feeds female during incubation. Both parents feed nesting. And the first male brings food, female gives to young. So you notice there that we had a male feeding the, uh, the fledgling on, on our feeder that I showed you the, there. And so they, their habitat, which is correct what I showed you back here, is patches of thistles and weeds, roadside open woods edges found at all seasons in semi-open areas having open weedy ground and some trees, brushes for shelter, especially areas of second growth, streamside, roadside, wooded edges, orchards, suburban areas. So perfect for what we're talking about here in out in the back. It's prime habitat. So if you have a property that you have some edges some shoulder areas around your property and you're wondering what to do with it plant some habitat and leave some native plants and what have you for this lovely little bird the american goldfinch i just love the sound at their feeder at the feeder too Have yourself a great day. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.